six, we rode on horses made of sticks. He wore black and I wore white. He would always win the fight. Bang, bang. He shot me down. Bang, bang. I hit the ground. Bang, bang. Many young men dream of sitting behind the wheel of a powerful sports car with a pretty young thing in the passenger seat. But Joey Wunsch has stepped out of the dream, dispensed with the man, and gotten into the driver's seat of her own 1969 Chevrolet Corvette. Still, Joey was inspired by a very special man, her father. She explains that her father started driving Triumph TR5s in 1978, and she grew up in sports cars, riding shotgun with her dad until she moved out. As a little girl, she either sat on the jump seats in back or behind the parking brake, with one leg in her dad's footwell and the other leg in her mom's. They always took the old sports car on vacation, and in the end, she developed her own passion for vintage cars. Though her father died before his time, he passed on his love for vintage cars to his daughter. When she was just 19, Joey fell in love with a third-generation Chevrolet Corvette. A year later, she took the chance and made it her own. The Corvette C3 was modeled onto the Mako Shark concept car. It was built for nearly 50 years with only minor changes. Concealed headlamps, round, recessed taillights, and wide tires were the car's trademarks. And like all Corvettes, it had a fiberglass body with heavy metal under the hood. Joey says the flared contours along the sides and futuristic design don't really seem to belong to the year the car was made. Even today, everyone she passes looks and seems to like what they see. She thinks the car looks magnificent. Add to that is the 390 horsepower, eight cylinder, big block engine and the cool sound it makes. She says her Chevy's fun. But doesn't such a veteran Corvette like hers take lots of TLC and tinkering? Not really, but it does have a gas-guzzling habit. The V8 big block 7 liters burns lots of fuel. Fiberglass or not, the car won't even budge without burning most of the 20 liters it needs to move 100 clicks. And the American technology just isn't up to the searing steady speeds on today's German Autobahns. But a well-maintained Corvette is as dependable as a VW Rabbit. Anyway, 32-year-old Joey doesn't mind getting her hands dirty to keep it purring like a kitten. She fixes little things here and there. She's learned how to change the oil and make cosmetic repairs. But she won't get into the engine itself. She likes to watch, but she's afraid she'd end up doing more harm than good. But she wouldn't mind learning how to do it someday. Joey's thoroughly restored model is equipped with a rare four-speed transmission. It sprints from zero to 100 in about six seconds. But as a policewoman, Joey is happy to cruise at the speed limit. She doesn't have to push the envelope in her Corvette to feel like she's driving a sports car or any other vintage classic. Joey muses that if she had the money and a big garage, she'd first buy a black Chevy Chevelle SS, then maybe a Mustang Fastback, and then maybe a car like her first one, a VW Beetle, and a Triumph like her father's. Joey and her big block Corvette do go quite well together. Then, a rival for Joey's affections comes on the scene. But then, a Corvette has never really had to worry about the competition. And Joey won't even let him behind the wheel. 
The Corvette has lasted six generations, with a seventh coming up in autumn this year.